two, three, four, five. Do you ever do something and as you do it, you realize that you might have went a little too large? That's what I'm feeling right now. This Spray the camera, Hector. Spray the camera. Spray it. Oh! What did he do? Huge. Ugh. No, my. Oh, my gosh. What is going on, crows? Welcome back to another video. As much as I'd love to get this whole reef thing done, as you can see, we have a bunch of artificial reef that we'll be putting inside our saltwater aquarium very, very soon. That's not what today's video is on, although these fish look great, and we'll get more on them a little bit later. This is gonna be awesome. Let's get out of the fish building because we're gonna be spending a lot of time in here later on and get out to the outside farm animals. I just installed another camera. We have like 22 cameras now. Look at that thing up there and it has this beautiful view of all my animals so when I'm not home I could still watch my family of pigs. And on the pig topic, these guys are all eating their breakfast as you can see. Baloo, you are massive. Like certain pigs out of this group have just gotten so much bigger than others and she is my lady May. And speaking of large, look at little baby, little baby, come here. Dude, you are massive, dude. It's crazy to see how big your horns got, how big you, this is king of course and boots and all the animals just want to say hello, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it is absolutely beautiful out. It's the perfect day to get a nice project done. And Hector and his team built some crazy stuff on this channel. Behind me here, we have the goat mansion. We have a couple of the animal houses that we built and we've matched them all to match the house, of course. We've built this right here. This is where all the turtles and tortoises will go. Once we get our class three permit, we'll be able to sell live aquatic turtles and tortoises on PCAquatics.shop. I cannot wait. In the new year, that's gonna happen. Obviously, we don't have any tortoises just yet. Over here though, We've got the aquatic turtle tubs. Nothing in them as well yet. Well, we have a couple, uh, let's see. Got some pink belly side necks, but again, I cannot sell until I get my dang license. It's so annoying. Soon though, that'll be soon. Regardless, we build a lot of stuff on this channel, and today we're gonna be building something inside the fish building. But it's not for my fish. You'd think fish building fish, no. It's for a very special animal that lives in there. His name is Cornelius. Brenton bought this frog. Cornelius was the randomest name he came up with a year or something ago, a long time ago, from an Asian food market. I did not expect this frog to be as loved as it is on my YouTube channel, that is for sure. Brenton just bought it and we was, it was more of like a joke. This is the best day of my life. Wait, dude, no, but this is sick. We got, oh my gosh, he's huge! He's <laughs> massive! Oh! <laughs> Cornelius! Yeah! Oh, he's a good boy! He's a good boy! This poor things, bro. Oh, he's so <laughs> No, sir. He's a good boy. And I ended up keeping it as a pet, and it has become the most tame, coolest bullfrog in the entire world, and everyone loves Cornelius. Merch coming soon, by the way. Everyone loves Cornelius, so today we're gonna build Cornelius an absolute mansion. And all that begins at Home Depot, the best place on earth, right now. So how big is this? Oh shit, it's good. This is big, big. If this is 10, we can take 10, so we can cut it. Let's see. Oh shit, this is uh, 12. We need 10. It's been a while since Hector's been on camera. Hector, it's good to see the camera Thank again, you, huh? Friend. He's yeah. been working at the condo. I got a condo, he's been renovating that. Um, so he's still working, he's just not on camera working. <laughs> Uh, five eighths or three quarter. Probably thicker because there's gonna be some weight. It's a big difference if you get regular or you get PT, pressure treated wood. So we're trying to ball in on a budget here. You know, Cornelius is a frog at the end of the day. He's not uh, my wife, or I don't have a wife, but you get what I'm saying. That was a weird, that was a weird analogy. I tell you what, it's good to be filming this building stuff again. It's been too long, it's been months since Hector's been here and we've done a project at the house. We've done so many of these projects in the past, of course, but it's been a while since we've done one. Over to the caging while he gets the rest of the wood supplies that we need. This right here, is, that's that's a little big. These holes are a little large. No, maybe not. Right here, three feet, this is the smaller one. Although I think Cornelius isn't gonna like be trying to climb his way out. He doesn't even care. I feel like the bigger one kind of looks better, in my opinion. Let's see if Hector thinks this is good enough. 25 feet. What do you think, Potty? Yeah, I think it looks good. It'll be big enough. How big is we were gonna do two feet tall, this is three feet. We could just make it yeah. that tall. You have 25. Yeah. By you. Is that enough? Maybe, no, maybe we need more. Goodness. Some staples. That's what we'll use to put this caging onto the wood. Because it's hard to get that plastic. Have you tried drilling this? 
The drill will never ever get that plastic onto the wood like you want it. So, okay. staples. Yep. All right. And the screws. screws. Staples. Mesh. Wood. Hector. Hector. <laughs> I love how he said it as I said it. So we got everything we need to make this happen. It's gonna be a good day. If anyone wants to build this exact same thing that I'm building, I could show you. We got two two by tens right here. A piece of plywood and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different two by fours. And how long are these? Eight feet? Eight. Yeah, eight feet. Oh, I just got a nice splinter. That's why you don't rub your hand along wood. Um, yeah, but that's all you need to build what we're building today. Oh, hinges, hinges for the door. And over to the hardware in order for our gate that we're gonna access in and out of the enclosure, we need some of this hardware. So we'll get the smaller one. Uh, here, we'll get two of these, two of these right here, boom. And now we need these little latches right here. This is a silver one. They get mixed up in here, but that's all we need right there. Ken? This is my new house. I'm tired to pay rent, my friend. Too much, too he much just, money. He building this. <laughs> I just whipped out the GoPro real quick. Um, they're just building the foundation. Once they get this done, whip out the big camera and we'll get started on the stuff inside. We're back home, by the way. And people have the audacity to comment that I don't take care of my animals. What are you kidding? This is a bullfrog. We are inside the fish building now and look at how clear the pond is. It has its days where it is just so clear. It's insane. That is mini beast, which looks like beast now. Arowana, of course. As a matter of fact, if I come up here, it probably looks nuts. Gosh, look how big beast is now. That is crazy. We got a lot of fish under the dock too. They're just hiding. Giraffe nose and some big red tails, the gar, which has gotten so big, like all these fish are getting so large. Look at Thump down there, that's Thump. Thump is chilling down there. The pond is looking clear, crystal clear. It's about as clear as it's been in a very, very long time. And we're gonna be building this right over here on this side. I might as well mention this because we're sitting right here. These shirts came in the wrong colors. So these are like one-offs. As you can see, the PC brand, it's there, but it's a little lighter than it should have been. So I didn't want to put these on the website, but what I will do is I'm gonna put these on the website right now. And this is all I have of them. There's not many, there's literally probably 15 of each size. These are limited edition, one of ones, off colored, like just, they're never gonna be produced ever, ever again. So if you wanna get the cheapest PC merch ever sold in existence, I'm gonna sell these right now for only $10, $9.99. They're on the website right now. They're gonna go quick because it is unbelievably cheap and it's the holiday season. This is an easy gift right here. They will get to you before Christmas if you order now. I mean, it's a really nice shirt. Um, and I only have so many of them, so go get them while you can. $9.99 on the website right now. Link is in the description down below. And there's gonna be this one, the one that I was filming this with that I'm gonna sign. Right there. By the way, I did sign one of each size. That way everyone's got the equal chance of each size to hit the signature shirt. It is the holiday season as well. And we've got a bunch of perfect little stocking stuffers. These are phone wallets. You stick them on the back of your phone. Boom, whip out a card and stick it in there. You got a phone wallet. Like I said, go check out the website. The shirts won't last. And these probably won't either, to be honest with you. Oh, you want a black one? I like that one. You like the PC Aquatic shirts? <laughs> he likes PC Aquatic. Those are on the website too. They're over there in that bin. I thought I gave you some. Two. Hey, but I need one for Monday, Thursday, Wednesday. You, you need know? one for each day of the oh, week. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ever do something and as you do it, you realize that you might have went too large. That's what I'm feeling right now. This frog doesn't move. It stays in a hole the whole entire day and I just built in a mansion. Put a little pond in here, a little house right here for him to hide and he'll be able to live his life in here. Maybe we get him a girlfriend. Should we get Cornelius a girlfriend? I don't even know if he's a dude or I don't know. I don't even know if it's a guy or a girl. I have no idea. Smash the like button. If we get enough likes, I'm getting him a, a mate. First top of the roof. It's good too. We have a lot of storage under here. I could put some of the boxes that we use for shipping stuff. Um, PC Aquatics. I could store a lot of stuff under Cornelius's house. This is nice. Is that the door? How big you want the door for? 16 inch? Yeah, that's fine. 16? Perfect. All the way to the top? Yes, sir. This thing is massive. I mean, big. Currently constructing the door. This is where we'll have access into the enclosure so we can obviously maintain its 
well beings. Water the plants, do water changes on the little pond that he'll have in here, and of course, feed him. And his food is actually right next to it. This is where I keep all the feed. And then you see all these frozen rats right here. There's a frozen mouse. He loves those. And the reason why, which you'll see in just a little bit, just how big Cornelius has gotten, the reason why he is so big is because there's no other American bullfrog eating a full mouse every day. Literally every day he eats a mouse. Let's see where he's at today. He's in a different spot each day. He's in his little, he's in his thing. The big Mata Mata destroyed this. Just one day I came home and it looked like this. You also know a big reason on why we're doing this is because we have plans to get rid of this entire corner and we're building a big freshwater pond here and probably gonna make that saltwater pond over there. There's a heck of a lot of plans to go down in here. Of course, you'll just see things as they happen, but that corner probably will be a giant pond soon. Check out this though. I've got some crickets, just got back from the pet store. And that boy Leo is waiting for me to put him into his little pond. Oh yeah, buddy's going. Oh. He got one and he flung two off. Sticky tongue. Imagine getting stuck onto a chameleon tongue going flying and not dying and you land into this beautiful enclosure to live happily ever after in a fish building. There's the door. Hinges are on. As you can see, we got a little latch. This is the door that will give us access to our frog. Now all this is gonna be the screening. Just like we painted that one, we're gonna paint all of this that same brown color at the very end. It's time to unravel the mesh. This stuff is uh, very nice. These are a little bit bigger holes because Cornelius is not fitting through that. I can promise you he's not fitting through that. I'll show you him in just a second. You'll know what I mean. The biggest bullfrog I've ever seen. Again, that's probably because he eats nonstop. This is going to be perfect. Like I said, although he probably really won't even move much through this, he'll go in the water at night. He comes out at night. He always comes out at night. It's one of those things that he does. He probably does it because I believe frogs, bullfrogs, all come out at night. But right now, the next step is putting on the mesh. My mom's first time feeding the saltwater reef fish. What do you think, mom? It's, they're so beautiful and it feels so cool when they tug on it. You would never think you could hand feed seaweed to a bunch of reef fish in a pond. It's, it's the coolest thing ever to have this in my backyard. And this pond is essentially, I mean, it's almost completed pretty much, but oh no, mom! Oh, good snack. <laughs> I got the same. <laughs> but it's just one of many projects and it's the exact reason why I really do want to do this big project in this corner here. I just enjoy the big projects, the big things that require days and days of labor and work to build and put effort into with my brain. And although these fish look really, really cool inside this pond, they're gonna look a thousand times better in what we build over there. Make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss any of these upcoming projects. Cut right around the door. So, so far, this is what we're rocking with. The door is fully done, as you can see, opens up inside the entire thing. We obviously have to do some work on the inside tomorrow. On the outside, everything is done. Now we have plans to put another piece of wood over here to kind of cover all this mesh and we could paint that wood. And same thing for the sides and as well as all around really. Risky business. Risky, risky business. We're spraying paint in the building. Oh brother. I just love that color. That looks much better than that. Spray the camera, Hector. Spray the camera. Spray it. Oh! oh! I didn't think it was gonna actually do it. Oh. It's spray not too much. It's a little bit. Look at it. Way, way better than it did. I did not expect. Well, typically that's how it goes, but I didn't expect to actually go this crazy on this. Um, enclosure. Cornelius, you are one lucky frog, buddy. You're about to get a new mansion, dude. No longer hanging out in a bucket in the middle of the ground there, although he loves that spot. He does love his little bucket there, but when he was a juvenile, when he was a lot smaller, he used to roam the whole entire fish building. I don't know if he still does that or not, but now he's got like a, enough room to I feel like he's never going to want to leave because nothing's there to bother him. It's just his his territory, and I haven't really seen him roam anymore. I don't find him out anymore. I always just find him in there, and at night, he goes in the water, comes back out, he's got a routine down now. In the beginning, I believe he would roam around because he really didn't know where the heck he was. Now the inside. That way, when we're looking into it, we still see the wood. I mean, look how good that looks. And we're not gonna do down here because obviously all this is gonna be dirt. 
10 bags of topsoil. Now I need mulch. Now right here is cypress mulch. This doesn't have any sort of added dye or chemicals or nothing. So this right here is the best to use for not only a frog, but you know, when you do tortoises or any sort of enclosure, this is the stuff to get right here. Just so if you didn't know, now you know. Probably do two bags. I got a little bit left at home too. It's like I break through it. Got a lot of soil. We're putting soil in the enclosure, come on in. Some may say, oh, you gotta put plastic down. But you know what? I didn't put plastic down on the chameleon thing. Pressure treated wood. I don't water this daily. I water a couple plants in it every once in a while. The moisture's not gonna hold to decay the wood until like five, six years from now. So, we're just gonna do it like we have it. It's a lot easier. All the dirt, just like this, across the whole entire thing, we'll plant a couple plants. And of course, I got this hide here for them. It's a really nice hide instead of the one that's in the ground. We're just gonna keep bringing soil bags in. I got a lot of soil, probably more than we need, that's for sure. As you can see, the soil is nice and rich. It's, it's top soil, it's actually the cheapest soil you can get. This enclosure is so big though. I mean, like I'm literally standing in it and this is all just for one frog. Oh yeah, drop her in. Oh, God. I haven't quite figured out a water dish situation. I think I'm just gonna throw a dish in here for now so that he can get some water. But if you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments down below. I'm thinking just like a water tote, like a little tote, but then it's the draining situation. Like how are we gonna get him to, to drain the water out of that and clean that because they do poop in the water and stuff. I have a couple ideas, but for now, I think we're just gonna do all the dirt, all the planting, the mulch and stuff like that. Get him in here with something smaller for now. I don't even know what I was thinking making this for this frog. It's cool, but I could have just moved that tub over this way. Now that I really think about it and save myself a lot of money too. Ah. Uh. This is why I need to think things through before I do them. Anyway, back to mulching. All right, soil is all in. Here's what we're looking like inside the enclosure. All soiled out, and of course the hide over there in the corner. Now all we gotta do is get, I'm gonna actually put the plants in that we have existing over here already. These plants are already kinda grown. Just gotta pull them out the ground like this. And walk them over. Just like there's one. Oh, that looks makes it look so much better already. It's a big one. This one's grown like crazy. There's two. One last one here. And that is all the greenery for this enclosure. We could probably get more down the road, but for now, that is a solid start. Before we put the mulch in, I've got a couple pieces of wood right here that I'm gonna work with inside there and try to make it look a little bit better. <laughs> This is where the tub is gonna go of water because it's easy access to drain it. Um, so we're gonna ignore the center of this right now. I am extremely lightheaded. Let's get this mulch in so we can get this frog in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that is a lot of mulch. Dude, that is so much mulch. I didn't think it was that much mulch. It makes it look a heck of a lot better too. I think we're only gonna need the one bag. He's gonna make a bunch of holes and make this place his own as time goes on, of course. It's time for Cornelius to get pulled out of his little den. Oh my gosh, dude, you're f huge. Ugh. Oh my gosh. God, look at the size of him. Look at the size of him. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Cornelius, you're massive. Guys, look at the sheer girth of this frog. He doesn't even care that we hold him because he knows nothing's gonna happen. He knows we're not gonna hurt him. But look at those frog legs for you that eat frog. I don't, but my goodness. That is a girthy, girthy American bullfrog. Holy smokes, the size of him. Dude, that's crazy. Now, I don't know how to tell whether it's a male or a female. If one of you know, let me know. Cornelius is regardless the name, of course. We've been naming him for a while. He eats a rat a day, but look at the stomach. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. You ready to go in your new home? Here we go. Gosh, look at this, buddy. Look at this. Isn't that crazy, dude? He's the best, bro, look at him. He's like a dog, he's tamed like a dog. 
I'm petting my pet bullfrog right now. Go, go, bud. Go, go. I want you to go in your house, though. He's so lazy. Go. Go. He won't even move. Go. In your home. There you oh, there he goes. All right, see, he's got that little hut. Now he knows where he is. He's in his new enclosure. Cornelius has his own home. What a crazy video. I do need to figure out something with the water bowl. I'm probably just gonna go grab a, a dish, like a, like a black dish and fill it up with water for now. Um, it's just gonna be a pain to have to redo that. That's my thing. Maybe I'll have to drill a hole through the very bottom of this. I could drain it. We'll figure something out. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments down below. This right here is a $2,000 frog enclosure. Why did I do it? I don't know. And it's all because, of course, this corner over here is going to be a crazy project. Stay tuned for it. Make sure you subscribe down below. And we will see you in the next one. Peace out. It smells like a frog. I'm gonna sink this eight ball. Oh! And that's how you lose a game of pool. <laughs>